Hello, uh, this is Simracing Corner. Uh, this is my Next Level Motion V3, and you can see it's crooked. So, uh, yeah, um, last week I was using it, and uh, there's a snapping noise, and this is the result of it. And so, I'll show you what happened. Let's bring this in closer. And this arm here, you can see it's just loose now. Uh, so it's broken away from the uh, from the the actual um, shaft that holds it on, and uh, obviously I'm not sure you know how bad it is inside. Uh, I do know from what I can tell the motor inside is still okay. Uh, this side is still working, so it's still working. Other than the fact this is it's kind of broken away. Obviously it should be higher. Um, see, yeah, it should be solid like this. So I'm out of warranty. Um, I bought this uh, over two and a half years ago, uh, so I am out of warranty. Uh, I am going to take a look inside. Uh, I watched the Sim Racing Garage review. Barry Rowlands took off this panel and, and this panel here, and you could see inside and you could see a bit of it. You couldn't really, um, he filmed it from the front, so you couldn't see from the top and see down of uh, how it's all joined up. Uh, but it did show you do have access to this and and, the, and from what I can tell it's because uh, there's about um, there's a little bit of a room here or, uh, under this panel so I should be able to see from the top how it's come apart hopefully um, you know um, I can it's just some bolts that have come loose and it's just freed itself and I can put it back together that's the best possible scenario um, option two um, is uh, the um, it's something has uh, broken, and I will need a replacement part, and maybe I can, you know, buy it from the the next level that part, and it's going to be all fine and dandy, and I can do it myself. Uh, option three, which is obviously, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, worst possible scenario, is it has to go back to the factory get fixed and come back, which will be a costly process, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the worst possible scenario. So hopefully I can fix it today. If not, I will you know, run follow-up videos on that experience and what goes on. Because um, at the very least, you know, my, um, you know, my uh, misfortune is, uh, makes for a good, you know, good video series of you know, how this pans out. Um, you know, the costs involved if it needs to go back, etc. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty sad news, really. Um, um, and this 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 happening is unrelated to the, the other video I published recently, which was uh, when I opened up the mounting holes and, and put the new sliders on, uh, because I, I filmed all that weeks ago. I just hadn't kind of edited it together, so it's just it's just coincidence that you know this video is coming out shortly after that video. It's just uh, it's just the way it goes, really. Uh, there's a kind of void stick here, and I wonder if there's a little screw under here which holds it on. Because it's not. Oh, okay, there's these screws here as well. Let's try and take these off. Uh, yeah, and even if I can put this together today, um, it's something I can do. I might actually struggle because it's, there's, it's under spring tension here. It's quite a lot of force there. I might not be able to hold it and do it myself, so I may need to get uh, someone. Uh, some help in but we'll see how we go get on today really um, this is obviously the first time I'm opening it up so I don't know what to expect uh, but yeah it just shows you these things you know these things are um, you know are, they're, 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 I think it you know I mean, this isn't a video to to really talk about this being kind of a terrible piece of kit because I think it's great you know I, I think it is a very <coughs> excuse me a very good piece of equipment uh, but these things can happen, and you know, it's uh, it's it's, it's what can you do, right? Because uh, for my kind of, I, I've I've followed threads on forums about uh, the next level motion V3. And on the whole, everyone is very happy with it. It's very, uh, it's generally very uh, rare for these things to go wrong, and uh, when it does, uh, people do get good support from um, the company, which is all good news. Uh, but and yeah, so I haven't really seen many people really expressing they've ever had problems with these. 
Uh, so I think they're pretty robust. But as something which has, you know, does put out a lot of force, you know, it can break. You know, these things can break. And, you know, even if you, even if yours is all running fine, you know, it's not going to last forever. Uh, that's the fact about it, right? It's, uh, it is mechanical. And, uh, okay, so what's happening here? Okay, right, yeah. There is another, there is something under here. So I have to peel this off and avoid the warranty that I, that I don't actually have anymore. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so let me just peek inside, see if there's anything that I can see. Okay, I can see something from there, but it's not that clear, so I do need to take off the top panel. In there. <coughs> oh. All right, so uh, okay, the fan, hold on, hold on there. Let's just uh, put it out of the way. And we can take a look, see inside. Right. Interestingly, yeah, when I looked at the Barry Roland video, it actually, from this side, it looks actually very different from what I'm seeing here. Uh, so it looks like a different design, but I can see it's come away. But it's really unclear about what has actually snapped off. Okay, so I brought the camera in closer and uh, brought in the lamp as well so you can actually see what's going on here. <coughs> and this, to me, from what I can tell, it looks pretty bad. It does look pretty bad. So I, I will describe it since it makes, uh, you know, you won't be able to kind of work it out by just watching this bit here. But you can see how loose that is. So that there, that kind of that that piece there that's a uh, uh, that's a uh, bearing and you can see it goes in there it's slot in there and it'd move you know and that's how it kind of moves so that holds it on there uh, and what's happened from what I can see is the actual shaft of the motor goes all the way into this piece here and that's how it's connected and then you've got the bearing there to just support it when it moves and so what I can see I think it's sheared in the inside uh, so yeah the actual uh, the actual shaft on the actual on the motor is sheared the motor is functioning okay but it is effectively broken um, it's broken the shaft on there so you know from what I would understand really they'd have to replace the entire motor in here uh, just to have a, a new shaft to connect to here so yeah, that's the problem. Um, this is going to be very expensive, of course. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty bad news for me. Um, yeah. So what I have though, I have this video and I can show this to next level. I can ask them for the process of returning um, this to the, to the factory that makes this and get a cost, try and get a cost. Hopefully they can work out, you know, they'll be able to understand what's going on here by watching this video. I'll give them this link and I'll be able to get some information about what it would cost to, you know, you know uh, to get this fixed. Obviously the return is going to be expensive. This thing is like 28 kilos. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty expensive to just send the, the thing and get it back. Um, it's in Europe, I can't remember whether, I think, I think in Poland, so I think the factory is based. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be costly to send this thing, 28 kilos, you know, it's not going to be a first class stamp, it's going to be quite a few pounds. Um, and then they're going to have to kind of tear this thing to pieces and undo all the rivets to get to everything, uh, draw all those out. Um, so it's going to be a fairly time intensive process as well. Uh, I'm 
I'm sure once they've got into it, they'll be have no problem kind of replacing the actual motor quite quickly and uh, sorting it out. Um, so hopefully, when I contact them, I will get a an accurate kind of cost of what it what it will be to have this uh, repaired, and I'll share it in a future video uh, when I have more information to tell you. But yeah, really bad news uh, for me. Um, I, I would assume this is a you know a, a kind of a rare occurrence for this sort of thing to happen. You know, to break on the actual um, uh, to break on the actual uh, shaft itself. But you yeah, know, what can you do? These things happen, guys. Uh, so okay, um, let's end it here. Uh, I will run a follow-up video when I have more news. Um, so this is part one of my uh, broken next level motion brief. Uh, drop your comments <laughs> below the video. Um, you know, uh, with your, you know, notes of uh, condolences, etc. Because <laughs> yeah, I could do a bit of cheering up because this is a uh, pretty bad news, and all I can see is a big, a big um, bill for this. But all right, guys. Well, um, uh, take care and thanks for watching. Um, of course, um, don't forget to subscribe, and um, I'll be back soon. Uh, maybe not about this, but with something else, of course. So um, take care and um, happy swimming out there, um, even if. I'm not having much happy swimming myself, <laughs> but yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.